Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you for choosing to stay with us now. It aims to make art more accessible and engaging to South Africans. That's a new exhibition called The Voice of the Nation, which opened this past Thursday at the studio in Santon. The exhibition includes works of artists such as Happy Glame, Ayanda Mabulu, Senzo Shabangu, and Bambo Sibia. To tell us more, uh, we're joined by the curator of The Voice of the Nation, Jessica Deutsch. Uh, Jessica, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Um, let's talk about the uh, significance of a name like the voice of the nation and what it, it what it's meant to uh, to signify. Well, um, the role of an artist in any society is to talk about what's happening around him. You know, he'll pursue his own vision, but he's always impacted about his environment and about his culture, hmm. and that happens anywhere in the world. And so in looking at making art accessible and making fe people feel it's not elitist and they can cross over into the gallery, I put things on the wall which they could identify with. Mm. And the things that we really evolved <coughs> through it was the crossing from the rural to the city, the experience in a city, Senzo Shibango, for example, does little boxes because the experience was, well, we came to live in a box. Um, Happy Dalama, for example, does faces that are veiled because what is the reality? What's beneath the mask? But at the same time, artists work in different media. And so I have a wonderful artist called Vuzi Mufufi, who works with collage, showing that paint is not the only medium. Mm. And part of that is to show to young children that you can work mm. with something. You curated uh, an exhibition that speaks at, on, on different levels, right. tone and feel. But ultimately, this is an, an, an experience you want somebody who comes to the exhibition. What are some of the things that when you put this, this exhibition together that you wanted the, um, a viewer, consumer to experience? Well, I think if you stand in front of a piece of art, invariably anybody, no matter what they know, they are carried over into that piece of art. And so the process really is, and this is scientifically proven, is that you enter the reality of that painting. Hmm. And in entering that reality, you really step out of the reality that you're in and you go somewhere else and you see in that other reality something that you identify with. For example, yesterday I was sitting outside in Santon Square and I met a writer who didn't have a job and he was telling me how terrible he felt. And I asked him to come into the exhibition and I showed him a painting, a painting of children clinging onto something in the sky. And I said, you know, this is what life's about. You have to cling and you have to aspire. And he looked at the painting and he said, you know, that really makes me feel different. And, and you so were able to help him move through I that really process. helped him move from feeling really desperate mm. to feeling I'm not the only one. And inspired. And let's, he was inspired. Let's quickly talk about making art accessible because we talk about it uh, in right. the intro and, and the ability for everybody to be able to have access to it. Why was that so important? It's important because you don't have to feel you have to walk in there and look at the value and know if you should buy it or not buy it and can you understand it? Are you going to look stupid? The art there has no prices on it. The art there is something that's what I put up was colorful, was lively, was the whole exhibition is something that makes you feel you're stepping into magic. Mm. And that is what makes art accessible. Mm. It's not something that's incomprehensible. It's not, I did have some abstract painting in there, but it's not something that you feel is miles away out of your experience. Here it's part of your life. What surrounds you is South Africa. Let's talk about some of those pieces because there are dreams of the future and then mm -hmm. there are uh, artworks featuring monkeys and astronauts. Right. I, I, it must be incredibly difficult maybe to answer the next question because you are the curator and you need to have this 
overall view and and kind of deal with many aspects of this exhibition right. but what was your highlight putting it together well if i tell you that it was speaking to the artists okay. and learning what was inside of them that was exciting um i think the highlight was each discovery and i never went through any meet any curator or anybody each artist led me to the next the highlight really was that I met Peter Clark when I first came to South Africa and he mapped my journey. And can I say any particular artist excited me more than another one? No. They all excited me in different kinds of ways because some of them spoke of dream, some of them spoke of desperation, some of them spoke of our people are in this race and so they're never going to get anywhere. And so can I say to you that the dream inspired me more than the reality? No. Okay. I loved Happy Delama's work. I okay. adored it. I loved Lindy Sale's abstraction. So I can only say to you that all of it speaks as one voice. Mm, with so much passion. Thank you very much for joining us here this morning. Okay. That's the curator Jessica Deutsch speaking to us about the exhibition titled The Voice of the Nation, which features work from artists, some amazing artists like Ayanda Mabula, Senzo Subangu and Bambo Tobia. And that's at the studio in Santa Nicola for more details. We're taking an outbreak.